Hey guys, so welcome to another video. I'm just going to describe shortly and briefly on how to set up and install this Apex blocker that I created. It's just a script that blocks United States servers and Germany servers, servers that you don't want to play on. Um, so this mainly applies to people in London or in the UK. Um, so yeah, I'll leave a link for this in the description, but yeah, you download the link, just uh, copy and paste this, open your browser. And then what you want to do is you want to download this file. So you just download it. Um, you can save it wherever you want. You can save it on your desktop. I've got it saved on my desktop. So here it is. You just extract this, um, this file. Once you've extracted it, you'll see two files. Now what you want to do is you just want to click on the bat file. So this bat file is just a small script. You can go through it. it it's got nothing harmful or, or suspicious. It just runs this other script here. And you can just check out everything here. Basically, this uh, first line here, these are all the IPs that it blocks. Um, it just checks what version of Windows you're running, if it's compatible, uh, if it's running in an administrator. And then it just checks if you already have the script, because I, I, I make this for, for people on a like a frequent basis, because Apex add more servers quite frequently. But anyway, so yeah, that's the file. Just double click it. Once you've double clicked it, um, it just tells you that it's running, it installs it, takes a few seconds, it's not very long, it's very quick, and boom, that's it. So before you do this, you want to make sure that your Windows def uh, Defender firewall is enabled. So just jump over to your Windows firewall, make sure that the, the Windows Defender firewall is enabled. Um, if that's enabled, then if you come over here to the inbound rules, you'll see that there's a rule here, and it's basically blocking the Apex servers. So there's two, one in inbound, one in outbound, so that it blocks the communication to Apex United States servers. So just to show you, I'm going to open up my game, uh, press tab. As you can see, this is the server selector, the data centers or whatever you call them. Um, here is London. So as you can see, I'm, I'm living in Zimbabwe or Africa. My ping is very high. So if I play on American servers, I lag like no man's business. It's crazy. So I only play on London because that's the best ping for me. Now this will help you if, uh, let's say you live in London and you just want to play on London servers only. That'll be perfect for you because then you will just be playing in London and the best ping that there is. Um, Apex matchmaking basically says, okay, you are a predator, right? If you're a predator, it's going to try matchmake you with other predators. So it sometimes puts you into American servers or maybe Belgium servers, Frankfurt servers, wherever they can find other predators, um, the same skill level as you. And it basically disregards all these um, servers. So like if you choose London, I choose London, jump into a game. Sometimes I get put into Germany because of my skill level, right? Now that can happen to anyone. So this is basically just a way to, to make sure that you're playing in London and, and that's the only place you're gonna play is in London. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to close my game because now that I've actually run the script, I just want to show you what it looks like. Um, so here's my game, let me just reopen it up for you. So as you can see here, this is the script, it's installed. Now if you want to disable the script, you can just right click it and just say disable rule. It's pretty simple. Um, I might make a, a script that disables it. If people want me to do that, I'll do that. Just let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, you just basically right click it, disable or delete. If you want to delete it, you can delete it. That's fine. Um, yeah, but here we go. So game is loading up. I just want to show you what it does. Now, as you can see, when I press tab, it's only going to show London. So as you can see here, all the other servers are now saying minus one, which means it can't access them. Um, so now I'm, when I click London, I know for a fact that even once I get into a game, I change between ranked, duos, trios, it's not going to change me to Germany halfway through or whatever. Now, a lot of people say, ah, oh, but you know, the server select is good. If you choose London, you'll be playing in London. It's not true. I promise you right now, you can actually check this yourself. Um, there's a tool that I, that I use. Um, I'll try to leave a link in the description for it. Um, but I call it's called Live TCP UDP Watch. Now this application basically shows you what servers your game is connecting to. So the way that I use it, I'll jump into a game, I'll queue up into a game, right? Um, 
and the minute it hits the loading screen, I just alt tab and I check which IP the game, you see this process R5 Apex, that's Apex Legends. It shows you which remote address it's connecting to. Um, so you can actually check for yourself uh, some of the stuff. Hopefully just to create some more awareness. So as you can see, I'm in the loading already. So already it's connected to a new server. As you can see here, you've got 188. So if we open up the browser, we can just copy this address and you can use any IP lookup tool just to find out what location that IP belongs to. But as you can see here, this is Luxembourg, right? So that IP that I just got from, from the software is showing me that it's in London, which is good. Luxembourg is in London, as you can see here. But London. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you do it. Uh, it works really well for me. I don't know how well it'll work for you guys. Maybe it will make any difference. I don't know. Uh, for those in London, this will help you to stay in London and play with London servers and London people. It'll basically just eliminate any cause of lag uh, because the matchmaking sometimes puts you in Germany. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions or any problems, just hit me up. I'll try and help you as best as I can. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. To breathe, but that's all right. Hush.